Now get a load of this. A federal judge recently ruled a Facebook post from a Colorado public charter school amounted to an illegal campaign contribution for a school board candidate. Now what makes this story even stranger is that the seat the lady was pursuing was in an entirely separate district from the school, Liberty Common High School. So in actuality, the Facebook post turned out to be little more than a community announcement about what a parent at the school was doing. Joining us now to tell us more about this strange story, the principal of Liberty Common High School, Bob Shaver. Bob, of course, one of my former colleagues in the Congress of the United States, now really getting things done, educating kids out there in Fort Collins, Colorado. Bob, it's good for you to spend some time with us here tonight on Newsmax Prime. What on earth is going on out there in Colorado with this judge? Uh, well, it's pretty interesting. We, we unfortunately found a judge who didn't know what Facebook was or is. Um, we posted on our Facebook page, and, and our school has several Facebook pages, and where we share news and get involved in social media as any organization should and ought to. We have a parent who, in a different school district, by the way, than the one we reside in, announced she was running for the school board there. And so we literally, do, all we did was just post that one of our parents, we mentioned her name, is running uh, for the school board in a different district. And we linked to a news story in, in, a, in the local newspaper down there in Loveland, Colorado. That's all we did. No comment, uh, no explanation, no, uh, no added commentary, just those facts. And, what, uh, and, and one of her opponents, uh, filed a complaint at our Secretary of State's office that we had given a thing of value uh, to uh, to this candidate, and a judge agreed with them. So, um, uh, it and, and the judge agreed. Essentially, I can tell you from having been there and being on the witness stand, because the judge doesn't understand what Facebook is or what social media is, and thought that when you post a news article, that that somehow favors a candidate and and uh, constitutes a thing of value. So we're found guilty here at the school. No charge, by the way. No, uh, no charges, no penalties, no fines, nothing like that. The, ju the judge merely suggested that we should take that Facebook posting down, which we've done. Uh, but it throws into question a whole cascade of First Amendment uh, issues about whether linking to a news article on Facebook is now restricted political speech. Well, this is fascinating. We used to hear that ignorance of the law is no defense, but apparently ignorance of uh, what goes on on the internet is the basis for a decision. Or with the minute and a half that remains, Bob, is that really the case? Or is this, pardon the pun, a textbook case of the left pressing its advantage as it exists, uh, such as it exists in certain areas there in Colorado? Yeah, you know, the history is, uh, this was an administrative law judge, um, and uh, without a doubt, this judge has a history of, um, of uh, unbalanced rulings. If, uh, if this, um, if, if it hadn't, it, it was, let's, let's, let me put it this way, I'm pretty, I'm reasonably sure that if uh, my political activism in the past, as a member of Congress and one of your colleagues, had been on the other side of the aisle, the outcome here might have been a little different. But having said that, um, there's no real consequence to the school, but there is a consequence as to the precedent this sets that uh, the notion that a Facebook post is now considered restricted free speech. Well, it's not free speech, it's restricted speech, and um, that whether it's my organization or any other is now susceptible to having the heavy hand of government uh, determine that um, the law prohibits such things. Uh, we think it's egregious. There's probably going to be a chapter two. We're probably going to appeal this. A great number of uh, First Amendment law firms have contacted us and have told us that they will represent us pro bono in an appeal. Well, this seems to be another case where I guess the the uh, the benefit to this will be for your already outstanding students at Liberty Common. They're going to have a chance for uncommon defense of a First Amendment case on political speech and political expression. So I guess if you guys learn by doing, Bob Schaefer, you are going to be in the midst of it. As always, my dear friend, thanks for your time tonight on Newsmax Prime, Skyping in from Fort Collins, Colorado. Thanks a lot. So you heard what Bob had to say. Agree or disagree? Love to get your comments. Send them to me at NewsmaxTV.com slash comments. We're coming back.